the boys and girls. Can I have your attention, please? A good afternoon, boys and girls, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, welcome to our performance of Christmas Carol. Um, this performance is by our low school children, that's classes 7, 8, and 9. Um, they have been working extremely hard over the last um, five or six weeks under the guidance of Mr. John. So I hope you enjoy the performance. Um, the children have worked very, very hard, and I think it will be a very nice experience for all of us. At the end of the uh, service, at the end of the, the performance, there will be a chance to join in the singing. So we'll, we will be having some singing, and if you know the, the, the songs that we're singing, then please join in at the end. Okay, now Mr. Darrell wants to just make a, a slight announcement before we begin. Absolutely no need for that. Um, this is an announcement, ladies and gentlemen, during the performance. Can you please, can you please either turn off your mobile phones or for extra stimulus, put it on vibrate mode. Thank you. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy the performance. Can you turn it off because it makes a vibrating sound? Um, can you turn this off?
reindeer that goes around with Merry Christmas on their lips should be boiled in their own pudding. Uncle! Nephew! What good has Christmas ever done to you? There are many things from which I have derived good and not profited. Christmas is a kind, charitable time. The only time when men open their hearts and think of other people as travelers to the grave and not some kind of other race of creatures bound on other journeys. Come, uncle, dine with us tomorrow. Christmas Day is a time for rejoicing. I will see you in hell first. I ask nothing of you. I want nothing of you. Why can't we be friends? Good evening to you. I'm sorry with all my heart to find you so. But I love Christmas and what it brings. And as such, I say Merry Christmas to you, Uncle. Good evening to you. And a Happy New Year. Good evening to you. And a Merry Christmas to you, Bobby Cratchit. Toodles. Get, get back to work before I fire you. Enter. A Merry Christmas to you, sir. And a Happy New Year. We're collecting money to the poor and needy. You see, sir, it's very cold outside at this time of year. Many people are in need of the simple pleasures, such as a warm bowl of soup and a place to sleep. Mm -hmm. And we're collecting money for them. How much money can we put you down for? Are there no workhouses or treadmills? But sir, what are you saying? Frankly, the poor would rather die. Then they better hurry up and do it and decrease the surplus population. Good evening, gentlemen. <laughs> be more tomorrow. But, but, but tomorrow is Christmas Day. You'll be expecting the whole day off, I imagine. But, but, but it's only once a year. Bah! Okay. What about my wages? Wages? Rob a man of a day's work. Despicable. Despicable. Come back the day after to catch up. Yes, sir. Off with you then. Thank you so much. <laughs> Merry Christmas to you, sir. Bye -bye. Humbug! Bobby Cratchit, 
I'll be sure to work him all the more on the 26th. Who could that be? I'm not expecting anyone. in life. I made it link by link and yard by yard. Do you imagine the length and weight of the chain you bear? But what can I do? You have a chance to escape my fate. Tonight you'll be visited by three spirits. Three spirits? Expect the first when the clock hi um, hits ten. The second the hour after. And the last at midnight.
Remember. 